you're looking to buy a home in 2023, we're in August, guys, and we're going to be going over pros, cons, just really a market update of what we have going here in the SoCal market. We know that we do a lot of new construction homes, but we also do resale homes. And yep. what's the main difference there, right? What's the benefits of going new construction, the benefits of going resale? Now, most people are like, resale, what do you mean by resale? Yeah, it's a home that's already been lived in, it's been purchased, right? Yeah. Uh, it could even be a 2019, 2020, mm -hmm. that's considered a resale now. A newer resale, but that's what it is. So yep. going right into it, guys, we're gonna go be going over, let's start with new construction. Right, and we're gonna do we're it. gonna kind of play like devil's advocate here. All right, okay. Right, where we're like I like the resale that. side, mm -hmm. Ooh. and you guys are the new construction side. I like um, that. Even though we do all of it, right? Let's do this. Yeah. 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 <laughs> Jeff, don't, no, you have you have resale closing tomorrow. I do. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I've done a couple like a few months ago. <laughs> yeah, and you had a resale close like a month and a half ago or something. <laughs> we have our camera guy in the background, just making a ton of noise. Um, <laughs> Now, guys, this is going to be a good one. We're going to be going over, you know, new construction homes, community updates. So, uh, Jeff, take us away on uh, some of the new communities Ooh. coming along. Okay, let's do it, man. So, I got three really, really good communities that, that are either here or going to be coming soon, man. Two of them are Pulte. Yep. My favorite builder. Mm. And then and then we have Lancy, another one of my favorite builders, Clementine. So, I, I think the Clementine project up there in Nar Hills is really cool. You know, you're, you're in the, like the low to mid 500s up to like higher 500s, but you're getting almost like a, a two unit. So they're being built in units of two. Right. And they're gonna be attached condos and then they're gonna have separate condos. It's a little bit confusing That's to say. Confusing. Yeah. yeah. But those are cool. And it's in Nara Hills, man. Like- Gated, gated nice. Gated, the amenities. Yeah, for sure. And then to be honest, man, to get something at 530, even if it's, a detached condo in, in North Fontana, like pff, you're three streets away from Rancho. Right. Like, yeah. That's you're in a really good spot. So I like I like Clementine a lot. Well, I know Ray is going to go check out Clementine. So a little bit about Clementine, bro. Yeah. What do you think? So Jeff's absolutely right. You know, to get something in North Fontana, especially in Nara Hills, for about low 500s, it's definitely going to be a great deal. The houses now they're a little bit on the smaller side, right? You're looking at anywhere between 1300 to about 1600 square feet. I wouldn't all, oh actually two of the three models they have modeled there, the plan one which is going to be the detached, they don't have the model there, but like Jeff was mentioning, it's going to be really cool, they're going to have two, and then they're basically going to have the detached in between kind of separating it, um, so overall, I mean if you're okay with something that's going to be around 1,300, 1,400 square feet, you want to be in a great location, not really too concerned about having a big backyard, I mean it's a perfect spot for you. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, I do like Strata. I mean, compared to, to Clementine. Strata's um, nice. Yeah, I haven't checked out the Clementine, but I feel like they're gonna be a little bit tighter, right? They are, but I mean, you're talking now Strata's pushing 700,000. Yep, you're right. So like the yeah. Strata is gonna be like mid 700s, whereas the Clementine's gonna be, you know, basically low 500. So definitely 200,000 does make a huge yeah. difference. But for the Strata, even though they're detached condos, definitely have more of a home fill. Whereas yeah, the definitely. Clementine, you're gonna definitely know that it's a, it's a condo. Yeah, I, think, I sure. think Clementine will be good too if you're an investor and you want to tap into that area mm. where rents are gonna be higher. I mean, if you're gonna be a cash buyer and you have enough to be able to buy one of those units, I mean, my brother and I were talking about buying one of those units yeah. where you can own both of them. Rents are gonna be a lot higher than, say, going east. Yeah, that's true. That is true. It's a good point. I think it's a good product. I like yeah. it a lot. What else we got, man? So the new Pulte one up in Riverside. Spring Mountain yeah. Ranch, probably one of my favorite areas up there. Grove area. The high yeah. Grove area, yeah, man. The, the community's gonna be starting mid 500s. So those are gonna be single stories, correct? Single stories. And okay. then they're gonna have another community starting in the mid 600s. It's gonna be all their two story plans. The two story ones on the 600,000, Yeah. Right? So if you guys have seen our videos, you've seen the Pathmaker, you've seen the Visionary, you've right. seen the Pinewood, like you've seen those. Those are ones that are gonna be built there. They're amazing, dude. Yeah. And in that area at that price point, but let's be honest, they're not gonna stay that price. No, yeah, you know, mid 500s really means yeah. like 580 or so. 
even I'm, I'm just talking like three phases in those ones are probably already going to be pushing higher sixes and the right. bigger ones are probably going to be in the sevens easy and then i was looking at how many are going to be available so yeah. i think for that one there's like maybe like i think it's at 101 so mm -hmm. you know how fast that's going to go, gonna go quick. that's what we say you have to move quick on them you do have to move quick on you it. really do yeah, yeah. That, that community is going to be a really it'll good probably, one it'll to get pretty into quick. yeah yeah pulte always does though man low hoa you get to take advantage of the park that's being built there. Right. That all that area, walking trails, it's a really nice spot. That one, I think that one's gonna go quick, man. Prices are gonna be crazy there. So if you want a good deal, they haven't even started pre-selling yet. Well, maybe depending on when this video comes out, but yeah. those ones are gonna be great to get in early on. Then the next one uh, is in uh, Menifee. Menifee, right? yeah. Cimarron Ridge. Right, that's like on the west side of the 215. Yep. So that one's in a nice area. It's kind of bumped up the hills. Uh, mm -hmm. So those are mid fives too, the entry level they, homes? I think they have one in low fives, like low fives? 515 or something okay. like that. So there you go, um, even better. All the way up into the sevens for their gated community, the meadows. Okay. Yeah, so those ones are gonna be really cool. So one big thing right now since the market update, Pulte and some of the different areas they have the 5.5 mm -hmm. interest rate. So they're buying down your interest rate to that on oh, some of their move in ready. So yeah. definitely reach out to us on those where those are located so you can get that deal. So I know a lot of people are trying to chase that interest rate right now. Yeah, man. It, and they're not the only ones. I think there's a couple builders who are offering Horn, that right now. Right? 5.5s, yeah. you know, low fives. That's great. You can't get that anywhere else in the market. No. So those ones, those ones are going to be good if you guys want a list of those quicker move in homes. Shoot yeah. us a DM us a or DM. click the link, whatever you got to do. Just make sure you click one of those links because it's going to take you somewhere to get in contact with us. And that's going to be the big thing. You, you want to get in those houses. Yeah. Yeah. Before Christmas, man. Right before Christmas, man. Before Christmas. Okay. Yeah. Winchester. Last one. KB in Winchester has a lot of homes available, guys. I'm a big KB Homes advocate. I love that community in Winchester. No HOA. Prices start like low fives all the way to yeah. low sixes. They have one with a 10,000 square foot lot. So can you can it. get some lot sizes there. You can get some quick moving homes. And those are expected to be done before Christmas too. So. And that's no HOA. So all you no guys that HOA. don't want HOA, <laughs> jump on that. Uh -huh. I do like the Winchester area, man. Like it, it's, it's underrated because you're right. Like you're, you're far enough where it's going to be cheap. Right, and then you're also like it's gonna be cheaper, right? And then, yeah. but it's also close enough to like Marietta, to Mackinac. Yeah, you're on Demogorgon Road, man. Newport yeah. Road, it's right there. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're like ten minutes from the shopping center. Yeah, you'll see the comments. Oh, it's like an hour drive to the freeway. It's, it's not, not, dude. It's, it's like, like ten minutes. Yeah, it's like eight minutes. It's ridiculous. Yeah. Good. good. Okay. <laughs> and then to kind of piggyback off what Jess just said right now too is, so let's say you do want to get into a community. We have a client over at Pulte. They got in, starting price was seven seventy nine. Now that same home is going for around eight forty. That's without any upgrade. And their home hasn't even been finished yet. It's gonna be ready next month. So that's a great idea. If you do wanna go new construction, get in the early yeah. phases, build that equity. And the second thing, if you wanna get into like, let's say the Lake Elsinore community that's gonna be opening up or that Riverside community that's gonna be opening up, you reach out to one of us. And once you see the homes, like one of the Riverside communities, they have the visionary, to have the path maker mm -hmm. that community is not open yet but what we would do we would take you out to the community that does have them modeled yep. so you can check them out make sure yeah. something that you want get on that list right away be one of the first to get into that pre-sale yeah and that's that's gonna really set you up for success yeah 100 percent. we have a way of making sure you can see the models before they're even the community's ready yeah we know so, where they're at yeah we'll just take you to them you're gonna have a leg up right a lot of people will go get pre-qualified you get on the wait list they don't even know what the homes look like yeah. Yep. So those ones are probably, when they see them, they might fall off. You never know, right? right? But we'll make sure you get to see everything. We'll take you to the area so you can see the area they're going to be built. We do it all. Mm -hmm. All right. All right, man. Well, we got that. Now let's talk about uh, quick move-ins. I know quick move-ins are super important. Yeah, so you touched on KB. I KB did touch has on KB some. a little yeah. bit. I kind of jumped the gun. So what's happening is you're getting some people that are kind of falling out of escrow, mainly yeah. because of interest rates. For some reason, they didn't lock in back in the day or just moved on them and they couldn't. So stuff's yeah. falling out of escrow. So those are gonna be quick move-ins or they just have homes that are being constructed. I like to use the example of a cul-de-sac. They have all these homes are already mm -hmm. done. This one hasn't sold yet. They need to move it along yeah. and they already picked everything in there. So it's ready to go. That's gonna be a quick move-in. Yeah. And, and on sale. And you on do. sale, yeah. Like KB and DR Horn have really good like sales events yeah. where you could get some good discounts on the homes, homes with a lot of upgrades. Sometimes they include solar, these low rates, like everything. They do a good yeah. job. Pulte as well. 
I'm actually shocked I didn't know Pulte had that, dude. Like I seen the 5.5% rate stuff and I was well, like- Well, I just really started hey, seeing that as yeah, well Yeah, I was too. like, shoot, yeah. okay, this is, and Pulte's are nice. Well, and one thing too, guys, remember, we're starting going towards the end of the year. Yes. Yeah. So you're gonna start seeing a lot of the deals. Like last year, we got some crazy deals. So start talking to us. This is start talking to us so we can get the ball rolling on, okay, what's yeah. the plan gonna be? Because those deals are gonna start happening. Yeah. yeah, one thing you have to remember is most of these big builders are publicly traded. Yeah. So as they approach the end of the year, I mean, end of quarter, everything, they have people to report to. Right. So they don't want to have a bunch of inventory homes. That's like that's the not, worst that's thing. That's the worst thing they could possibly yeah. do. So you're going to see them throwing out deal after deal to get rid of all these homes because they want to look better for the stockholders too. I mean, Before it's just business. Get, they, they, here's a fridge, here's a washer, yeah. dryer, you get everything. I'm going to yeah. give you it all, yeah. Yeah, I mean, we, we started seeing that when we got to kind of, you know, we had that slowdown. Yeah. Then we go in the beginning towards the beginning of next year. Like, they were throwing everything at us. I remember one time I just asked for, I was like, let me get 10 grand. And they were like, you're already getting a deal. You want more? And I was like, yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. And they were like, well, we can do eight. I was like, all right, I'll do it. Yeah. yeah. No, Who cares? It's, it's going to work. So we're going to start seeing a lot of that. So, guys, yes. the biggest thing is be prepared, right? Know, one, know how much you qualify for, right? How much mm -hmm. you can pay monthly. Yes. You know, uh, know what areas you're okay with. Yeah. Know what areas you shouldn't be looking in, right? Because a lot of us, you know, we go to these communities and they, and they look nice and all that. But it's like, hey, you go to the community. And one, you don't know if you can afford it, yep. right? Yeah. Two, like, what if that's not even like the, the type of home you're looking for and just because you've seen a sign, you went to it and it's like, no, have the conversation with us so we can, so you can tell us exactly what you're looking for, mm -hmm. right? Single family, condo, uh, detached condo, townhouse, whatever it may look like. And so have that combo, hey, I wanna pay X amount. Hey, you're gonna be in this area. Is it gonna make sense? Yes, no, okay. Great, yep. let's move forward. Now, with that being said, right, there's the other side of it where we have resale, right? Uh, what? So, resale. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding, right? <laughs> we have What's resale, that? <laughs> and, 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 and with, with the resale you know, market, it's like, hey, maybe new construction's not the way to go for you, yeah. because yeah. one, it's gonna be maybe too expensive, right? We gotta mm -hmm. consider HOA, we gotta consider like Malaroos, the higher tax rate, all yeah, that good sure. stuff. We do. So lot small. size, everything. Lot size, yeah, right? Mm -hmm. Like, hey, you want mature landscaping? You're not gonna find that in new construction. I have a client, he has to have something for his RV. Yeah. Yeah. It's just not gonna find that. Yeah, it, yeah it's, it's harder. harder to find yeah. that, right? When, when, you're, when you're dealing with new construction. So, but you won't know that unless you have the conversation with us first. Yep. Yeah. Which route is it gonna, you know, is gonna be the best route? Because mm -hmm. if we look at, like, if we still look at inventory, inventory is still super low. It is right? Yeah. right. The amount of people that are actually buying houses is still super low. Yeah. Yeah. So it's true. So what does that mean for the, the, the you know uh, the buyer right now? Is there more opportunity for you out there yep. with getting good deals with new construction, getting into the right resale home? You're not having to compete against 10, 20, you know, yeah. 25, 30 people. Well, it's like the video I just did, right? Like, yeah, we get it. The interest rates are high. But the end game has to be, you have to have the mentality, lock something in, refinance when the time comes, right? And we're telling you as we've seen it, we've done it, it can be done. So have that mentality going into it. Yeah. Because once those interest rates drop into the fives, we're gonna see what we saw the year before us. Yeah, no, that's true. And and you know too, it's, it's funny because like we get a lot of people, oh, I'm waiting for interest rates to drop. Well, guess what? Pulte has a 5.5% rate. So what do you, DR yes. Horton has a 5. Point, there's no excuse. Yeah. That's when you know, like, all and, right. And let's be honest. Do you really see rates dropping past five? No. In the near future? Yeah. Like, the best we're going to probably see is like high fours. And, and who knows when, you know? Yeah. Like, so, yeah, I mean, if, if rates is what's stopping you, we can take advantage of incentives through the yeah. builders. We can do 2-1 rate buy downs. Like, there's options for you, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah absolutely. So where do you see where like a lot of people, they like, you know, they want to talk to you about new construction because it, it feels good. It looks good. Yep. It, you know, it, it, you walk in and they're like, man, these models are beautiful. <laughs> right. So all that, like, it, it, it seems right. But what type of client are we, are we, when we talk to them, it's like, hey, man, maybe resale is the right way to go. What does that look like? Well, I can give you a perfect example. So new construction is definitely very attractive, especially when you look at the model homes. I have a client right now, they're already pre-approved good to go but when you look at what their price points at the locations that they're looking at and what they want 
new construction just doesn't make sense because their max is going to get them at the starting point. That's not including any type of upgrades. That's not yeah. including landscaping the backyard. That's not even including yeah. when you factor in the HOA and the higher tax rate. So for them, it makes more sense to go resale. They can get something that's probably like almost 100000 under their budget, going to give them the yard that they want, the mm -hmm. space, the layout, the location. So new construction is not necessarily for everybody, but it is good to explore all your options so you can narrow it down. And when you do find a home that you like, you know that you made the right decision and you didn't basically miss out on anything else. Yeah, and that, that goes with having the conversation with us, right? Yeah. You don't yeah. know if, if you don't have the combo. So, you know, with, with that, uh, like we, we ran into a buyer, right? And amazing buyers, they, they first started like around 700000 They went up to around like, ah, I can do 900000 They started looking at a million dollar homes. And then they went to these like 950 homes and the parents like, well, how about this other community that Robert showed you? And they went to that community and they're like more closer to like 1.2 and their parents are like, we're gonna, we're gonna do the, you know, we're gonna help you out. Get into a home that you really want. So we're like a day away from doing the deposit. And they said, you know what, I just searched what, what, you know, what is available for resale. And they started looking and they, they figured that resale is just a little bit better in that area that they're looking in now they're not going to have as many options it's not going to be as custom as they want but they were looking at what's out there and it was landscaped homes already mm -hmm. yeah. don't have to worry about landscaping mature trees right yeah. now the downside to that is somebody's lived there so you don't know what they've done with the house right yeah. not the first one there but they just felt like that was a great option so anyone for like like we were talking about earlier right like that 800 to you know above you know if if you're looking at a mockingbird the vistas like you can find something a little bit on the other side already move in ready yeah. for about 1.4, 1.5. Like I think yeah. so. I, when people say, oh, I want a pool and whatnot in there, I think that's kind of where you can find it in those price points, right? Yeah. Those people yeah. are going to put more higher end items into their home so you're going to get that swimming pool you're going to get that like you said the the, the nice mature trees really just the landscape's going to be done for you so sometimes it is better i, I agree 800k plus yeah. resells probably a better bet right now yeah the same thing with like that five i want to see like under 500 maybe 550 thousand. like going resale might be a better option too because yeah because if, if you look at Let's say you're pre-approved for 550,000, right? Like realistically with new construction, where are we gonna end up? It'll be a Menifee, oh, no. Winchester. Banny. Banny, that's it. That's it. Victor uh, you, you, Winchester. Winchester, you, yeah. You're there, you're pushing it. Yeah, yeah right, sure. it's like borderline. You're yeah. like right there. Borderline, yeah. but you're like- We're gonna have a little higher payment though. Yeah. Banny, Victorville, Hesperia area, right? Yeah. Yeah. And that's you being pre-approved at 550,000. Yeah. So with resale, you, you look at 550,000, like you still have pretty decent options and you're not having to go as far. Maybe the house is not as grand as you probably want, right? But it's gonna have maybe a decent size yard, yeah. right? We're talking about some parts of like Marino Valley. We're talking some parts of like San Bernardino, Paris. Like you're not having to go super, super far to get that newer construction, like a Victoria, yeah. Hesperia, Banning, Winchester. Right. Mm -hmm. um, so that, you know, talking to those people, it's like, yeah, I can help you buy a house in Rialto, new construction, but you're going to be at the, uh, at the, what is it, depot or? <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, 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 the depot. Yeah, by, yeah. Cent by Century Builders, right? You're going to be there, and it's just like, is that, yeah. is that going to make sense for you? Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, right? that's true. Next to the Metro. Now, see, I, I think, <laughs> <laughs> and just to play a little, like, devil's advocate there, like, I tell a lot of buyers, well, if you're comfortable in Paris or Moreno Valley, why don't you go right down the 215 and get into a great community yeah. for a little bit more? Menifee. Like, why would you Winchester. not knock in Moreno Valley, but come on, I'd rather be in Menifee 10 days out of the week than I would Moreno Valley, right? I'm not gonna be in Movell. I, I say whatever, I, no, I'm just kidding. I'm just saying like, I, I personally would be in Menifee all the time. Yeah, so if you could go 20, 30,000 above, right? Maybe we get more incentives for you. Maybe we work out a little deal to lower that payment. I would, I would much rather be at least at that price point, like five to like seven. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, like I'll seven, seven fifty. I'll go there all day. Yeah. I'll go there all day. Yeah. I'll be up in Riverside. You can get a nice single family. And up I feel there like that, like that price that point range. is where it makes more sense to go new construction than that's it does I feel. resell right now. Yeah, yeah. And that's kind of what more more mm -hmm. people that are getting approved right now end up at is at that yeah. price point right now. Like around six hundred thousand, you would say? Yeah, like, six yeah. six fifty. So, I mean, yeah, if you could get pre-approved for like six, 650, I think that makes a little bit more sense. Yeah. yeah. Right? Because 
again, yep. if you go to a traditional lender, right, and they mm -hmm. pre-approve you for a certain amount, they're typically not pre-approving you for something with HOA and yeah. higher tax. No, they're doing the 1.2. Yeah. 1.2, 1.3. Tax rate. Yeah. Yeah. And so you go to, you're like, yeah, well, I'm pre-approved for 550. I, I can get this house in Homeland too. Yeah. Right? But it, it's, the payment's so much different. Yeah. It is, for yeah. sure. Even though there's no HOA there. And the tax rate's a little lower. It's about what, 1.5, 1.6? 1.7. 1.7, okay. 1.71. Okay. You know, okay, I don't know. <laughs> I feel like to an extent, it's a price difference between a resale and a new construction. Like, it is, I, you know, it let's is. say three to $500. I get that, that sounds like a lot. Yeah. But then you gotta think about, is that three to $500 worth having a brand new home with warranties on it, a new community, just that peace of mind. I would say yeah. it's a peace of mind for a That's brand new is. home, right? I'm not knocking resale, but you are getting in that price point, you're talking about homes, 60s, 70s, 80s. I don't know, me personally, I'd I'd rather not eat out, I'd rather not eat out dinner three times a month and that three, four hundred bucks, I mean, it's just what it is to go out now. Yeah. But towards your house, you get a brand new home. Yeah, and that's why we tell you guys the, to get on these calls though too because it's really dependent on the person. There's so yeah. many variables that go into it. I get people who are like, I don't ever want to be in a resale home. I want to be in a new community with amenities yeah. and stuff to do. And then I get people who are like, no, nah, I want the pool, I want the RV garage. Yeah. So resale, yeah. So it all depends on you as a person, 100%. That's why these calls are important because then we're all able to sit with you, understand what you want and break that down and make sense of it. Yeah, I need Ray to back me up over here on the resale side. Yeah, well, you know what, I got you guys. I'll, I'll put this in too. Whether it's resale or new construction, the truth is that everybody's situation is gonna be a little bit different. Yeah. The best thing you could do is connect with one of us so we can explain everything to you and kind of break down all your different options because it's true. If you're, if who's someone who should, I would say go resale. If you want a big backyard, if you want RV parking, if you don't want an HOA, if you want to be in an established community, yeah. if maybe there's a That's certain, key. if there's maybe a certain school district that you want mm -hmm. to be in, right? Those are all things that resale is probably going to serve you better. Yep. Or also if you want to come into a home that is already good to go. Right. When you walk into a resale home, those countertops, those cabinets, that flooring, they're not taking that with them. In a new construction home, you're going to fall in love with the model home and then realize that your home's not going to really come with any of that stuff. And you're looking at mm. forking out another forty, fifty thousand 50000 yeah. to get it to where you want yeah. it to be. That's so, true. So, but even, All right, Ray is. Yeah, but <laughs> even when we look at new construction, we tell our clients, look, yeah, whatever no, your do. max is, we're going to look at stuff that's yeah. maybe thirty to $50,000 yeah. less so you can have that buffer to get the house to be yeah. where you want it to be. But either way, it's important to connect with us so we can kind of break everything down for you because most people, the first thing they're looking at is the price, but they don't know how the payment works. Yeah. They don't know how the down payment works. They don't know where interest rates are at. They don't know what tax rate. They don't mm -hmm. know HOA. And so once we can kind of break all that stuff down, we may finish the conversation and you may actually not end up buying nothing because when you look at what you can afford and what's out there, nothing makes sense. Or yeah. you, may, you may have been sold on new construction and you're like, damn, I have a client right now, they're looking at something below 600, new construction, good luck, but they're able to find some stuff that's maybe in like Fontana, Rialto, Colton area, where they can maybe get something that's in like the 550, 560. So it just really depends, but the most important thing is kind of, you have to be a little vulnerable with this. Nobody wants to talk about their finances. Nobody wants to talk about their yeah. credit, but literally we're here to help you. And unless we know that stuff, we can't give you the service that you deserve. That's true. Yeah. 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 yeah I can agree Could with have that. I said it better myself. Yeah. 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 Established community school districts. Those are the top reasons why you go to resale. Yeah. Yeah. And I look at construction and then like we're showing our clients and they're like, oh, does it come with this? No. Yeah. Does it yeah. come with this? No. <laughs> does it come with this? No. Now, now what I will say though is if you're looking for like a newer home, because I get a lot of people, I want a newer home. Like you have to understand if it's built like 2018, 2019, you're going to have a higher tax rate and you're going to have HOA. Yeah. That is what it is. It's like, like 2010 yeah. and you were, yeah, I know, yeah. to be honest. Like, yeah. Like yeah. Five, yeah. yeah. Mine in 2009 and I have a 2% tax yeah. rate. So, I mean, <laughs> so yeah, there you go. <laughs> and a 2% interest rate. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that, I mean, that's another thing with the newer homes. Like that's what you're getting. You're getting that. You're getting the Malaroos yeah. taxes, the special assessments, HOAs. It's, it's common now. It's not like before if you bought a house in the 80s for $30,000. Yeah, times are different, right? Yeah. We're not even going to try to sit here and tell you, oh, interest rates were high and homes are cheaper. We know. Nah, it's, it's a yeah. mess. Every yeah. time I get on a call, it's like $4,500 payment. I know it's a lot. Trust me. Yeah. I know that. Like, 
We're yeah. not here to, to sell a house to everyone right now, but yeah, no, it's, it's all education. Yeah. yeah, it's all about being realistic. And That's the biggest thing. It's just being 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 realistic. And the biggest thing I always say is I don't want people to get discouraged. Yeah. But we have to be realistic with you guys. Yeah, and, and that's breaking down payments, breaking that all that yeah. down is like, right? Like we get a lot of people that they still believe that renting is cheaper than owning a home or about the same, right? I get that all the time. Well, you know, so-and-so, you know, I was gonna go rent a house, but they told me it was gonna be 3,500. So that's like almost like a mortgage payment. It's like, ah, it's really not. Yeah. Right? Especially in the area you're looking in, your mortgage payment is probably like 5500 Yeah. Mm -hmm. So is it cheaper to rent right now? Yes. 100%. Yeah. It is cheaper to rent. Yeah. Now, there's people who choose to rent, and that's great. Right? And there's people who who have to rent, and hey, that's just, yeah. that's just what it is. But there's people who choose to buy, and those are the people we're here to help. Yeah. Yeah. We're not, we're not here to force anybody to purchase a home. If you are, you know, if that's you and you're looking to purchase a home, that's because you want to purchase a home. And, you know, there's a lot of stuff out of the news that's happening right now. There's a lot of stuff out there that is, is just like, you know, scare tactics and all that. It, it's, it's for attention. Yeah. Right. Yeah. So if you're in a position to purchase a home and you can do it, we're, we, we can't tell what's going to happen in the future. But we do know that typically rates go up and rates go down, mm -hmm. right? So the people who are buying right now, they're going to be okay with that monthly payment right now. Yes. And if not, and, 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 and let's say when the rates do go down, like we, well, like we talk about, yep. we get, again, we can't guarantee it, but if they do go down, those people who did not make the move, right, and eat up that payment for a bit, they're going to be looking for a home because they actually need to buy a home and they can buy a home, but they're going to have to compete against all the other people who have been waiting to purchase yeah. yeah yeah and then what if the rates go the other direction and they go up now you're gonna look like a smart guy buying a house at a seven percent interest rate yeah <laughs> right i mean until yeah. you can refinance yeah, yeah. Eddie with his two over here like laughing like peasants <laughs> i love renters man uh, they pay they're paying my mortgage right now <laughs> <laughs> that's messed up uh, no but it's true there's gonna be people who can buy there's gonna be people who are Unfortunately, at this point, we don't know like what the market's gonna do, yeah. but there's a lot of people out there saying that this is the bottom of the market again. That's crazy. I think in the next, crazy, I think in the next 10 years, most people will not be able to buy anymore. There will be renters forever. Yeah. There's, and there's, and there's a lot, if you look into that, uh, how it's, it's kind of becoming, it's kind of crazy. Like the data and the statistics are there. How they're kind of how it yeah. will become that way. Yeah, all these investors wow. buying stuff. Yeah. Up, these big organizations, uh, big investors, like they're they're taking pools of money. Mm -hmm. just, and know, they're right now they're buying like crazy. And they're buying everything up. Yeah. All they are. Stuff, right. If you think of all these, th th there's an, another reason why there's a lack of inventory. It's not so so much just the rates, but it's all these 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 big investors, right? Mm -hmm. these big, they just buy them. They're just buying them up, right? And that wholesalers, that's another reason. Yeah. Like yeah. There's a lot of reason why there's not that much inventory on the market. So again, not here to force anybody to purchase yeah. a home. But if you're looking to purchase a home, I, 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 I just don't know if it's gonna get any better. Like, yep. point of the trigger. Uh, I, I was just gonna add on to that. So, you know, in real estate, we have seasonality. So right now we are going into the fall, we're gonna be going into the winter. So whether it's resale or it's new construction, now is gonna be a really, really good time to get a great deal because inventory may be picking up a little bit because it's sitting on the market a little bit longer. New construction communities, they might be offering more incentives because they have some inventory that's sitting. And so if you guys are looking to do it in the summer, right now may be a great time, great opportunity to get in and uh, you know get the best deal possible. And then remember, real estate market appreciates 4% on average every single year. So it don't matter, whenever you buy a house, it's gonna keep going up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. 100%. All right. Well, I mean, I think we can finish off with that. I think the beginning of it, we're, we're just kind of going over what's available, but the end of it was probably like the most important, right? Is like, yeah, it's, this market's not for everybody. There's, you know, there's going to be people who never buy and that's going to be okay. Like we're not here to force anybody to buy. Yeah. We just want to help you be realistic. We want to help you understand. And at the end of the day, if you can afford it later in the future, hey, it's going to take six figures to own a home now. Yeah. It's going to take multiple oh, yeah. figures to own a home. Easy. And then there's going to come a time where it's probably going to be even more, right? Like, I'm already thinking, like, hey, how can I go and first get my home, right? Second, get my, my, my boys a home, like, right away. Mm -hmm. like, buy a home for each of them, 
to have them and then rent them out for now and then when they're ready to move in like hey you got your house yeah like that those are the type of moves that i want to start making right and because yeah. i feel like when it's when it gets to them it's gonna be too late man. that's why my two my other two houses each one of my kids has a house now because yeah. Yeah. i know it's going to be super difficult for them yeah. but if I, I already set them up each one has a house and they're going to be good yeah and the one i live in then they can sell it and or one of them choose that one but yeah, yeah, you do have to start thinking that way. My biggest thing is be in the position, like say you lock in a home today with the high interest rate, at least you have it. Be in the position that you can take advantage of the situation when rates do come down. Yeah. Mm. Go key. about it that way. Yeah. Yo, uh, well, one question for you guys, because this is something that I get a lot and I think it's, it'll really help a lot of people out there. Generally speaking, I know it's all over the place and it's going to depend on your situation, but you're in the Inland Empire, chances are you're looking at something that's going to be at least 600 and up. How much, how, how much of a payment do people need to be prepared to go for? And, and what, what kind of income do you think they need? Over 4,500 and you need to be making like 150,000. I want to say easily like close to five, 600. Yeah. New construction, I know I have a client. New construction in Riverside, their payment's like 51 and some change. Yeah. I mean, that's just, especially for new construction, like 4,500 and up and you're talking out in Beaumont. Yeah, like six hundred thousand yeah. for like a first time home buyer, let's say a resale home, six hundred thousand, you're looking closer to five hundred like five grand. Yeah. yeah. So like, you know, and, and then even if you're to like the numbers, yeah, you're at about hundred forty to hundred fifty thousand. Yeah. Easily, yeah. And hopefully that's combined income. Yeah, and that's why we have those calls though. Like we, we break that stuff down in those calls. Yeah. We let you guys know like hey, this is the income you're gonna need. Hey, maybe we can make this happen with the down payment you have. Maybe not. Maybe you gotta wait a little bit. Maybe like that's what we do. I feel we, like you don't even have to talk to a lender. We kind of know enough that we can break it down for you before you start running numbers, start running your credit. Call us. We kind of have a pretty good yeah. idea of what it takes to, to buy a home right now. It's just a 15 minute call and yeah. you kind of figure it out before you want to start running credit or talking to your bank or whatnot. Yeah. So I, I really, it's just yeah, simple. Yeah, I mean, we leave it all out there. The, the calls, we're not trying to get you guys out into a community tomorrow to go buy. <laughs> no. Like, unless you're yeah. ready, but that's not how we do it. It's it's honestly, we're there to educate you and be as transparent as possible on these calls. Like, cause that's, that's what you guys need right we now. We don't, I'd rather be at home hanging out with my kids than taking you out there. Yeah, I mean, I'm not huge on my kids, but <laughs> I would, yeah. But, or the biggest thing is too, is that way we know what you're gonna be at and then we can just hit the main communities, right? Cause we there's know. a lot of communities. Yeah. So why are we gonna hit up 10, 15 of them? Let's just go to the four that are gonna make sense. Yep. Yeah, that's what we do, so. Right. Well, I think that's good for now. Let's wrap it up. Guys, if you guys do have any questions, right, you can always reach out. There's going to be a link in the description where you can book a 15-minute call. You can search new construction homes. You can search resale homes. You can do all of it. Yep. And I'm not peeing. That's, uh, that's Eddie pouring into the cup. Uh, but guys, feel free to you know, reach out to us. Any questions, we'd love to answer them. Guys, again, don't forget to like, subscribe. And then we'll see you on the next one. Let's do it. So Castle Daniel out.